And we are back at it again tomorrow morning as the Extreme Team heads to Idaho with the Wounded Warrior Project. KXY 4's Aaron Luna working for you tonight with what we have in store. And Aaron, another deep clean planned in Post Falls. Nadine, that's something anyone can appreciate, especially right before the holidays. We sat down with United States Marine Corps veteran Mike Torrey yesterday for a glimpse into his time in the service. He had quite a few stories to tell. Fun time. For United States Marine Corps veteran Mike Terrell. Yeah, that was a 50 cal. The pages of his photo album are portals. Back in time. We're getting ready to blow up a 500 pound uh, IED that day. In 2008, the Marines deployed him to Iraq to serve seven months. That was awesome. <laughs> you can see the mushroom cloud and the yeah. shock wave. I got it. That, that was a fun day. After that, he volunteered to go back for another seven. He just wanted to help. It was really horrible, but it was like, I don't know, it was really fun at the same time, like, because I got to work with the EOD. Terrell drove an MRAP and provided security for bomb techs while doing things like blowing up IEDs and old RPGs. I try to find a way to tie them down, otherwise they're rocking around and you never know if they're going to go off. But it can't be boys blowing up things all the time. A lot of times when, you know, I think the first thing, you know, that comes to my mind is, you know, the first thing is one of the guys that I lost. That memory is tattooed on his arm with his squad number. And then... The initials of all the, the four people that we lost that day. Terrell brought back more than just memories from Iraq. He also carried with him PTSD. Oh, I should have got help at the beginning. Um, I put it off. I denied it. Terrell was medically retired last year. He says his wife and children helped him to make that difficult transition to civilian life. Now he hopes to help other vets work through their obstacles. Because I got a lot of help in the last couple of years of my life. and. If it wasn't for all those people, you know, I don't even know where I'd be at right now. From here, it looks like he's right where he's supposed to be. Good memories. And that's a big part of why the extreme team is going through his house, cleaning carpets, vents, the kids' rooms. Just our way of saying thanks for your service. And you can be a part of this story just by tuning into Good Morning Northwest tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. with Mark Peterson. We'll have an inside look at the whole project.